beautiful people. Good morning, everyone. After driving three days uh, from Cartagena to Medellin. in this place where it's famous for these things here it's called uh, pan de queso one is uh, pan de queso the other one is almohada now we will taste both of them and we will let you know how it tastes i'm curious to see how it is inside Soft inside. The best one that we ever had. It's so fluffy. Mmm. Really good. I want to taste this one as well. It was incredible, guys. Now we are here in Medellin. And Finally, Medellin. And we will show you around. We have a tour. It's called the Graffiti Tour of Comuna 13. Comuna 13 was one of the most dangerous area in Medellin, but now you will see what it is. Let's go! Nice to meet you, Luca! The problem in Colombia is not about violence or cocaine. The main problem here is corruption. Sometimes you can see some ugly, most of the houses here, they're ugly outside, they're very ugly outside. Wow. But once you get inside, it's a beautiful palace. Why? Because in Colombia, if the front of your house is more beautiful, you have to pay more taxes. Really? So that's the way that we avoid taxes. So sometimes you never know, sometimes they, they, they can be even three or four level, but inside. Outside there are one or two level and the government qualifies is upside. <laughs> 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 Every 10 years, the government makes a general survey from around the country to know how many Colombians we are. Mm -hmm. And they get inside your house. They can? They can get they inside. They have to prove Every 10 years. Okay. So when they get, they get inside your house, sometimes they see your devices, even yourself. Oh, iPhone. Oh my God. And they value your level of yeah. it. Yeah. They put your level up. 
Princess of Medellin City is divided into 16 communes yeah. or comunas, districts. Comune 13 uh, used to be one of the most dangerous districts. Can you point me where is Comuna 13? Well, all this area right here is Comune 13. All this one? All this area right here is Comune 13. So the hill and a part also of the, the flat part, uh, like it starts... Yeah, uh, yeah, if you take a look deeper at the San Javier station, yes. all that area is called San Javier neighborhood. This is the first stop. Uh, we took this uh, metro cable that is bringing you up here and you can see all the city of Medellin and it's really interesting. We are here now in the Comuna 13. It's just a district of Medellin and once upon a time was one of the most dangerous and violent districts in the city. Nowadays it's just an art district. We will see this tour is called Graffiti Tour because uh, we can enjoy a lot of graffiti, a lot of art. And why we were on the gondola coming up here, uh, our guide explained us uh, that uh, many times uh, you see these houses, they are really ugly outside, but then inside uh, they are like palace uh, castles, they have really expensive uh, furniture because uh, here the state, uh, they judge your income uh, and uh, you pay your taxes uh, on your income. Yes. Just from uh, the outside of your house. Yeah. So many times uh, they keep it really ugly outside and inside they are really rich. They have palaces inside yeah. with gold and silver furniture and everything is luxury but just inside. I think it's smart, it's like black and you. It's <laughs> ugly outside but it's really luxury inside. <laughs> this cable car was inaugurated in 2008. So all the transformation of energy city is new. And Pablo Escobar was killed only in 1983. Guys, only in 1981 in Colombia we built a new constitution where we, where we separated the Catholic religion from the state. So only from 1981, Colombia is getting liberal. Colombia used to be very conservative before. So all the transformation is new. Colombia is a new country for me. Uh, we are working hard in order to change uh, our city before and we'll see what happened with the country. Because anyway, it's a pity. Colombia is not the same Colombia everywhere. And Medellin City is far away from the rest of the country type of areas were full of ranchos de madera or tuburios de madera. All these farmers arrived in Medellin City. They didn't have enough money how to rent an apartment or how to buy a house. So they just invade the hills and they build in their own. We call ranchos de madera or tuburios de madera those houses built by cheaper material like wood material and zinc. That was in 50s, uh, even in 80s, when Pablo Escobar became a politician in Medellin City. He started a program called Medellin Without Dos Tuburios de Madera, Medellin Without Dos Ranchos de Madera, and he built a complete neighborhood for poor people uh, called Pablo Escobar neighborhood, close to the downtown of the city in Commune Number 9. Later on in 60s was the beginning of the guerrillas in Colombia from the left wing or communist guerrillas. And all these types of guerrillas took advantages in all these types of areas. Remember a uh, Cold War, Cuban Revolution, and Russia was supporting all these types of different guerrillas from the left wing or communist guerrillas in South America with weapons. They started to rule all community teams from the top side. So guerrillas ruled or used to rule community teams for more than 30 years here. That was the only authority here. So if you had a problem before in community team, uh, you just went to guerrillas and guerrillas used to solve all the problems around. They used to gather taxes as well. That was the way that they used to survive. They used to gather taxes around from all these people. Or if you just told different at that time in Niles in Colombia, that was dangerous. If you were gay or lesbian, that was dangerous in Colombia before. And that's why somehow graffiti became really important in our culture. And graffiti was born in Niles uh, in Bogota City, in the capital, with pincheros. We used to call pincheros, those teenagers, they used to write down phrases against the government, but also against any kind of violence. With red sprite and black sprite in Colombia. Like now we are here, we are the only authority here, and we are going to kill all the guerrilla supporters, or we are going to kill all the uh, governments or paramilitary supporters. This teenager in Bogota said like, now we are going to use sprites, like our weapons, but any, against any kind of violence.
35% of the population still loves Pablo Escobar in Antioquia State and Medellin City. Only here, not everywhere around the country. More than a rich guy, Pablo Escobar anyway was a leader. But once you met him in the past, you fell in love at once with him because he was very charismatic. So that's why lots of people used to follow him and everybody at that time wanted to work with him. That was a big problem here. I hate Pablo Escobar because we still have lost bad heritage in Colombia from that guy. We had lots of politicians around the country. They built a, their own jail, <laughs> or they are in a special jail. They stole lots of money from the people. They are in a, a special jail. They, uh, they can be visited every day by, by, by their families. Uh, if they have, an, they have an appointment with the doctor, they just go with the doctor. Well, that's a bad heritage from Pablo Escobar. He corrupted all these levels of the society here, and he left the problem of uh, the cocaine, and somehow that was okay, left a president in Colombia, for sure. <laughs> he couldn't be a president, but he left a president, for sure. Now we heard uh, the history of the Comuna, Comuna 13, and how poor people In Brazil, they steal electricity, they steal water. Yeah. Here is uh, uh, the government uh, legalized uh, all these places, so they are paying for the water, they are paying for the electricity, yeah. they own uh, their uh, land, uh, but uh, they have to pay taxes uh, right now. So that's the deal. It's a this is Lula. But also um, in Colombia, where we have a strong hangover. What we drink in the morning. And this is arepa de chocolo, which is a kind of pancake with cheese. Gracias. Mm, it's good. Lulo, look at the, the name Love of it. Lulo. Cheers, guys. Arepa de? Arepa de chocolo made by sweet corn. We are starting uh, the Bayro Dependencia. Uh, Dependencia district. And we are starting the walking tour right now. We're going to see some beautiful graffiti. The sponsor of all that mural is called Casa Colacho. Casa Colacho is the main movement of hip hop in Commune 13. But more than a movement now, Casa Colacho is a school of art where children and teenagers are learning how to paint graffiti like that one, how to dance a break dance how to be a rapper, how to improvise, or how to uh, mix music, how to play with uh, uh, music. That's more like of the idea. Our children in Colombia, they study only for six hours. They have the rest of the noon for free. So the idea now is to have them busy with all these type of programs. Mostly here in Community 13 is working this program, to have them busy, far away from drugs and weapons, from violence, okay? That's the idea of hip hop movement right here. Sé que no es fácil ser quien soy, es lo que piensa Martín. Joven común que cogió rumbo en la ciudad de Medellín. El chico es joven, sigiloso, sueña con llegar a lejos. Ya ha sabido comportar para superar pendejos. Quiere ser rapaz. Pero, pero la pena lo acorrala, los regaños, el bullying, los dedos que lo señalan. Llora cada noche con ansias de ver el mañana. La tristeza es compañía, la guía, la marihuana. Su madre lo llama, le dice no hay que comer. Piensa rápido y actúa, ¿qué vamos a hacer? El chico suelta su teléfono y corre para todos lados. Siempre piensa en lo que ha hecho sus bolsillos pelados. Es hermano mayor, tiene un hijo y sobrino, un hermano en prisión, al cual el juez llama asesino, no tiene trabajo. Es bajo, se siente cretino Al ver que el otro mira raro Por creerse más fino Era buen estudiante Y se alejó del colegio Responsabilidades en cantidades Fue el privilegio Compartía con amigos Que solían ser fiel Pero la fidelidad no existe Y si existe es cruel How under the skin Everybody is the same And in front of us We have three Colombian birds The yellow one is called a bicho fue The blue one is called a nasulejo and the red one a petty rojo. They are holding down the key of freedom according to the graffiti artist. And if you see the forehead of the girl, she's, uh, she has a key hole there. So they escape from the cage, it means freedom. And according to the graffiti artist now, they are releasing minds in community 13. Now they are giving freedom to the people through a street art. 
one of the most famous graffiti artists from Colombia now. Now Chota paints everywhere around the world. Last year Chota painted in Switzerland, in Zurich, and then in Brazil. This year he painted in Guatemala, he's going to paint in United States and Mexico City later. Chota Imagine City means brotherhood. But in Argentina, Chota means penis. Penis. Dick. In Mexico City, Chota means a uh, police. Chota considers our black people like our roots, like our heritage. We don't know how, but here in Colombia, we can dance around 10 types of different music. So we think that is the heritage from our black people or Afro Colombians. Let's go and taste some coffee. <laughs> It's coffee, buddy. <laughs> We're in Colombia, it's coffee. Yeah, like We're in Colombia, it's coffee. That's it. So guys, although although we produce one of the best qualities of coffee around the world, it's funny because you cannot find a good cup of coffee in each corner in Medellin City. So this is my advice. This is a small coffee shop. This is the idea now to, uh, to preserve the best quality in Colombia with small farmers or a small farm. With only 2,000 pesos you can buy an espresso here. Espresso Colombian coffee. Muy rico. Muy rico? <laughs> yeah, Italian here. How is the coffee? Buonissimo. Buonissimo. Molto particolare. Very strong. Guys, this place is amazing, this graffiti, each graffiti has a history, if you come here with a tour guide, he will explain you each graffiti, it's amazing, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, he explained us that at the beginning the graffiti were all black and red, because we were political graffiti against the government, now the graffiti just explode, and the graffiti at the beginning were just from the poor people, now the graffiti has a big value. In the beginning, the guys uh, who paint the graffiti, they were killed or they yeah. will disappear because, by uh, yeah, by the police, uh, and now they are free. So there is a freedom uh, to paint. Uh. They are free to express themselves and uh, free to to be artists. Art is the possibility to express yourself, yourself, your soul. <laughs> So unicorn exists. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, he invented the magical valises in Colombia. Things that you are not going to expect that they six like the electrical escalators in a, in a yeah. the middle on a neighborhood. So this guys, is really crazy, now. This is the project of the electrical escalators. So far, we have six electrical escalators here. Those are the only one in Latin America. And we copied this idea from uh, Hong Kong, China, okay? Wow. So we're not really brilliant, we just copied. I'm just kidding. The idea of the project was to improve the quality of the life around through mobility, but also somehow to bring tourists into the area because the unemployment rank in community used to be the highest one in Medellin City. It's just that entrepreneurs and rich people in Medellin stopped to hire people from commuter team. Not because they were criminals, it's just that they used to spend three days or five days inside their houses because of the gun chats around between soldiers and the state or sometimes between guerrillas. It's incredible to see in the middle of this neighborhood electrical stairs. Electrical stairs and a feminist graffiti. This is a feminist artist that just made this paint nine months ago and I love it because it's a unicorn and I love unicorns. This graffiti is five years old and it was painted by Chota and his coxie and Jess. This was painted by two graffiti artists. What do you think how much time they took to paint all this mural? Two days. Are you hot? One week. Three days, you are right. You Two days? Three days. Three days? Three days. They are really uh, fast. Oh, uh, yeah, they are faster now. Yeah. 
So guys, uh, this graffiti is very important because it describes a little bit Orion operation. The biggest urban operation in South America for taking over guerrillas from the top side. And that's why right here, according to the graffiti artists, we have the black hand of the government, the black hand of politicians, gambling with our commune and with our lives with Orion operation day, October 16, 2002. And that's right here we are going to see a big transition on Pachamama, from sadness, from darkness to the happiness. Look how our houses were before and how our houses are right now. Now we have colorful houses. Guys, from 10 years ago, color means happiness, transformation and life in our culture. 37% of the population in Commune 13 are black people or Afro-Colombians. That's why in our graffiti we are going to see lots of black people. But also guys, in our graffiti you are going to see lots of elephants. Because from 20 years ago, elephants represent memory. So now we want to see, we want to be like elephants. We don't want to forget what happened on us, like those military operations or taking over guerrillas according to the government or those uh, civilian wars. The elephant is a really important symbol for Chota. Chota is this famous artist here in Colombia, graffiti artist. Elephant is not a symbol of memory, just this one, but it's also a symbol of community. Elephant is a symbol of uh, people that are working together, building community together, offering food, drink, uh, and building a family, something really strong. Okay, este es el rap, Samu Laisa. Es lo que se hace orgulloso en las tierras, en los paisas. Lo que se hace también, pana. No hay vínculo, no hay envidia. Porque no hay turistas. En la 13 todos somos familia. Lo que haga, pana, es que en esto soy certero. Humildad de corazón. Y saben que con humildad para ustedes, compañeros. Es lo que digo también, mi pana. Mi mente en la luna. Vamos a hablar de humildad. La 13, la mejor comuna. According to the castle in Commune 13, right there we have the seat of the lovers. According to the graffiti artist, the blue girl is the moon, and the yellow one is the sun, and they created love, okay? So guys, if you come to Commune 13, it's a must to have a picture here with your couple, otherwise, seven years of bad luck, okay? Oh. The place is nice, I like it. Oh. <laughs> Look at San Javier Station right there, San Javier Metro Station right there. Wow, we have a view. <coughs> Xavier Metro Station, where we started this morning in front of us, and all the view of Medellin, just for you guys. Solo limon or sali limon? Inside this glass I have uh, lemon, lime and salt and this is a pineapple. No, mango. Mango is a... <laughs> mango and pineapple, I think. I think it's just a mango. Thank you. This is a mango. Let's do it again. Okay, so <laughs> here we have um, mango popsicle and in this glass uh, we have some uh, lime and um, salt. salt. So you have to do like this. Uh. <laughs> for drinking aguardiente or tequila, whatever. So according to Colombians, 
This is for pussies. This is the measure for pussies. Maricas. This is for cowards. Cobardes. This is for ladies. Damas. Yeah. And this is for real men. Okay. Berracos. Berracos. Real, real men. <laughs> Thank you so much to Wonder and Medellin Graffiti Tour. We will put the link in the description. So if you come to Medellin, please uh, go and contact uh, Graffiti Tour, Medellin Graffiti Tour, because it's really cool. Uh, Thank you for being here the tour today. This morning, this afternoon. Cheers, guys. We love you. We'll see you later for another adventure in Medellin. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And, uh, and uh, we send you a big hug, a big kiss. We love you guys here from Medellin. And I send you a little piece of this popsicle, a little piece of mango. It's delicious. Oh, cheers. You, you, you. Okay. okay. Venga mi pana, en este caso rapsa con actitud. Vas a ver también, búscame por el YouTube. En este caso también hay mucha gratitud. Rapsa desde la 13 parchado con mi gente. You. Ay, saludos mi gente. En este caso, bienvenidos a la Comuna 13. Parchado con los mejores para su canal de YouTube. Un saludo muy especial, invitándolos a ver mi canal. Y también a que visiten RAPZA en YouTube, en Spotify, Play Store. Comuna 13, sinónimo de delincuencia no es. Sinónimo de artistas, guerreros del arte. Ay.